All right, if you're starting a YouTube channel or you already have a YouTube channel or you're literally any kind of content creator, you're gonna wanna check this out. I started using a different site than I usually do for stock assets like videos, uh, photos, and sound effects. And I realized really quickly that this site is a game changer. But this site isn't really new. It's been around for quite a while and nobody's really talking about it. Instead, everyone's talking about platforms like these. Story blocks. Story blocks. For Epidemic Sound. Epidemic Sound. I just kind of wish I looked into this one a little earlier. Maybe my past videos could have used it. But real quick, just in case you're new to these videos, hey, my name's Ryan. My channel is all about taking what I've learned from running my media company and helping you with your YouTube channel. So if you're into that sort of thing, check out a couple of my other videos after this one. And if you like it, you should subscribe. Today I'm telling you about this site called Envato Elements. And there's an affiliate link to it in the, in the description. If you use it, it helps me out and helps me justify spending more time on videos like this. And I appreciate it. So I'll be the first to tell you it is a $33 per month subscription for Envato Elements. And that's kind of a lot of money, but I personally think it's worth it and that's what I pay. Here's why. When you subscribe to a service like this, you can use any of their elements in any of your creative projects, royalty free. From home videos, to public monetized YouTube videos, to client contracted video work. You're paying this subscription to have the license to use them. And so suddenly you have all these resources to make cool stuff and make your videos better. All right, let's go outside for a sec. Yeah. So the best part about this site is all the awesome stuff that comes all neatly bundled in this subscription for you. And here's a list of all the things if you want to pause it and see for yourself. But here's the list of the five things I'm stoked about the most. The first one is stock video. It's great so you can show visuals about what you're talking about, uh, show context of your whole video. You can even mix it in and spice things up with the footage that you shot yourself. You can just use it as much as you want to spice your things up and the sky's the limit with your imagination. There's a the plan. The second thing is stock photos. Again, you can use this to show visually what you're talking about, or you can use them for your thumbnails. I would recommend not using stock photos for your thumbnails unless it accurately displays exactly what you're talking about. And even then, I would cut out a picture of your face and put that in there also. Just depends on whatever your video is about. The third thing is sound effects. Now, good sound effects, that's just one of those things that instantly takes your film value and just like knocks up the quality, just puts it right on up there. It takes a little work finding the right ones and placing them exactly where you want them and then maybe even using a combination of them to make something sound really good. But in the end, it's totally worth it. The fourth thing is their music. The music selection is pretty good and finding the right songs to use in the videos is really important and key to nailing the vibe of the entire thing. The last one is their video templates. They're awesome because they basically make you look like pro graphic artists, but they're super easy to customize and they let you do cool things like this. And here's one more that's a kind of a bonus that I'm really stoked about, fonts. Their fonts impress the hell out of me. I suggest every one of you go on there and pick out your favorite font that you think will fit with your branding, download it and install it on your computer and use it in every single video. It's just a super easy way to create your own unique style and basically your, your flavor of your videos. It's all branding stuff. But if you can make it unique to you, then whenever someone sees that video and they see that font on there, it just screams that it's your channel, your stuff. All right, let's go back inside and talk about the licensing and downloading stuff. There's too many noises out here. So the way that Envato Elements works is that you go ahead and find whatever it is you want to use, click the download button, and tell them what project it's for. Then you're licensed to use it on that project. And when you release that project, your license is covered forever, even if you stop paying for your subscription. They call this a simple, broad commercial license, which means you could basically do whatever the hell you want with these things, except for something like re-uploading them to other stock asset sites as your own. So if you have any questions about this, just hit me up in the comments and I'll answer them there. So there are quite a few stock asset sites out there right now. And there's only one of them that I think kind of comes close to Envato Elements in terms of all the tools and things that they have to offer. And that's Storyblocks. So here's what they both have to offer. And now it might seem like Storyblocks is missing a lot of things here, but I believe that they have all the important things covered. So I wouldn't really make my decision between these two based on what Storyblocks is missing here. Instead, let's look at the pricing. Storyblocks is double the price of Envato if you want more than just stock video. And it's funny, I actually used to pay for Storyblocks, but only for the video portion. And then I realized that for the same amount of money, I could just, you know, get all this other stuff on Envato. And it's also when I figured I should make a video telling you guys about it. I just thought it'd be cool to help some of you out and really spice up your videos and take them to the next level. 
All right, thanks for watching guys. And here are some other videos that I think you might like. And if you're still around, you probably liked my video. So I'd appreciate it if you hit the like button just to let YouTube know that my videos don't suck. All right, adios.